right, what's up? This is the Hood Collector. And once again, Hood, I live in Hood. Collect action figures. That's what it is. Okay, the figures we are this is gonna be a double feature. This is the McFarlane and DC collaborative effort multiverse joker. And they have one joker that he is in a police uniform. And we're gonna get a little closer and we're gonna look at him. And if you look at the articulation, and this is staying in the box, that's why I'm doing this video like this. He has a green eye and a brown eye, and they did it on both heads, and that's sick. And we're going to go down. He has a long gun, which is almost like a throwback to the joke, the first Batman from, with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholas with the long gun. And he's in a police uniform. He has a trading card, which is in the back. <clears throat> and he has a stand that is right behind him. Um, it looks like it's a lot of articulation. It has articulation in the wrist and the elbow. It looks like it's not double jointed. He has knee articulation. He also looks like he has a lot. He has to have a lot of articulation in his head. And he has foot articulation, if you see. But this is a dope figure, and I just had to have it to my collection. Once again, my favorite toys does an amazing job. Of capturing this correctly it's very much on par with what DC is doing it's beyond that all right so we're gonna move over to the other Joker which McFarlane put out and we're gonna go right up on his face and see this is the Joker in the traditional purple the purple suit he has a wind-up mouth he has a wind-up mouth for an accessory he has another wind-up mouth that's open as an accessory, and he also has a gun. He has a stand that stands behind him, and he also has a trading card, which is behind him, which is the Joker. Um, traditional green hair, has a throwback feel to it, has a has a little flower right there that probably spurs out acid. And he looks like he has a lot of articulation. He's double jointed at the knee. I can see that. His wrist looks like it moves. It moves. He has double jointed at the elbow. He has articulation in his upper arm. And it looks like the head probably has good movement too. But this is the end of the box, so we will never know. Okay, otherwise he, he has the classic shoes. But this is a dope figure. Both of these are very dope figure. And I would I would I would tell anybody at this point, they're only like twenty bucks. And I'm seeing a lot of people jacking up the price. So I suggest you buy this. You buy one of at least one of these because this is definitely gonna be a collector's item. And they did an amazing job on the sculpt, on the articulation from what I can see, and based on the other figures like the Wonder Woman, the Justice League. Green Lantern and the Superman, they did an amazing, amazing job. So I would recommend you go on Amazon or go to your local toy vendor online or go to your local comic shop and definitely get this. I think they have them in Target as well. Um, I'll have the link for Amazon down below and maybe another toy store that I go to online to look up for different things. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description, but this is definitely worth having. This is amazing. Amazing work. GTO Gotham. Okay, and we're gonna go up on this one. All right, like, subscribe, comment, dislike, or just say hello. I'm a relatively friendly guy. <laughs>